In this tutorial in Expression Web, we're going to show you how to format your text with lines and borders. I have an example we've used for several of our exercises, and I've clicked down here in this paragraph, uh, which is just a controlled by the style called P, my paragraph style, which I find up here as paragraph and then the P inside the brackets. And I'd like to create a line underneath the paragraph. Well, the easy way to do that is to click up in the toolbar uh, to the left of the highlighting, to the right of the uh, increase or decrease horizontal position, to the box here, uh, which is my lines and borders. Let's click on the down arrow, and you see you have all these options that you can pick from. So what I'm going to pick right now is simply the one that in the middle it says horizontal line. Sometimes it's nice just to have a line across the width of your screen. Now once I have it there, I can click on it and I can change it. Note that the default is that it's centered. And one thing I can do is I can change the width of the line by taking my mouse, moving to the handle, and dragging in. Now because it's centered, it will go in from both directions. So there's a centered line. I can also change it to be left aligned and make it smaller or larger. Or if I want, I can make it right aligned. And so these are some simple ways in which you can create this box, if you will, which shows up on the screen like a re regular line. I can make it as big or small as I want, given the size of the screen. I can also take this and uh, I can change it from the other direction. I can move it to increase the margin. If I click till I get a four-headed arrow, arrow, it will tend to drag it from the left. I can also, if I uh, have limited screen space, go back to the right and drag it back in from this direction. So now I have it. Let's keep it left aligned here. So there's how different ways in which you can take a line and manipulate it. If I want another one here, I'll click down here and I'll click on my uh, border section, do horizontal line, and there's a nice simple one across underneath. So that's an easy way to add a line. Now let's assume I want to do something more sophisticated and I want to uh, go to the end of that paragraph here. And we'll hit enter. We'll start a new paragraph up here. We'll go back to our normal P style here. And uh, we'll say, uh, I want a border around this paragraph. How do I do that? Well, uh, all I need to do is go to the same tool and I have several border options. There's an outside border, there's an all border, uh, and a lot of these will relate to when we get into tables, but I can go top left, no border, which is where I'm on right now, bottom right, and some inside. Since I don't have any, any um, boxes inside this, the inside ones don't work right now. So I'm just gonna click outside border and see what I get. Once again, I get a border around the paragraph. I can go ahead and I can change the width of the paragraph, including the border. I can also change the margin, but the way I do that is to create the indent on the paragraph with my increase indent position on my toolbar. And that will move it in and over if I want to do that. So what happens when I get to the end of the paragraph and want something else in my box? I'll hit enter and I'll type more. Ah, what does it do? Well, it gives me a separate paragraph with a separate border. That's because when I hit the carriage return, uh, though it inherits the qualities, it doesn't put them together. If for some reason you want multiple text in the same box, using this technique, there is another one we'll talk about later, uh, I hit paragraph, and instead of pressing the enter key, I do shift enter, which keeps the next line in the same paragraph. And this is line two, and shift enter again, and I have line three. 
in the same box with shift enter combination. Sometimes that's the easiest way to get the effect that you want. Um, we'll show you some other variations later. But these are some of the uh, kinds of things you can do. Let's take this paragraph here where I've put a border on. Let's su assume I want to take it off. I'll click on no border and the border is gone. I'll click on it again and let's do all borders. And this one again does the same thing since I only have one paragraph. We'll turn it off again to no border. Let's say we want just something on the top. We'll go top border and there's a line directly above the paragraph. Again, if I hit enter, it inherits it and the next paragraph will also have the top border. If I don't want that, I can either go back to my normal paragraph style, which will override it, or I can go back to no border here. Uh, we can do a right border in the paragraph. Again, we can adjust the width of the paragraph, which will change the placement of the border. I can also, if I want to, put a left border on at the same time. And again, if I want to indent that, I can use my controls here to increase my indent position on this paragraph. So this one has left and right borders. So you can experiment with the border controls. We'll show you a little bit more about this when we get to uh, actually putting borders in and around tables in another lesson. But it's a, a nice way to begin to uh, increase the variations of how you can use lines and borders in your web page in the free copy of Microsoft Expression Web.